This question says enlarge the shape A by a scale factor of 2 from the origin. So enlarge, when we have an enlargement, so enlargement, that means the shape's either going to get bigger or it's going to get smaller. So scale factor of 2 tells us, so scale factor of 2, so it's going to, say it's going to be times 2, twice as big. And from the origin, that means it's extending out from the point 0, 0. So what we've got to do is we've got to go, we've got to draw a shape twice as big, we've also got to draw it in the right place. So to get to this bottom corner, this one here, we went one across, one up. If I'm doubling everything, I'm going to change that from one across, one up to two across, two up. So that's going to be the new bottom corner, this, this point here, from the new shape. I could just draw the shape from here, but I'll do all the points. So I went three across, one up to get to here. I'm doubling that, so that's going to be six across and two up. And it was three across, two up to get here. So that doubled is six across, four up. So that becomes our new shape. Okay, a good way of checking whether you've done this correctly is to extend lines from the origin through each shape. If I drew a line through both shapes, so that's the bottom point on each shape, through the other bottom point on each shape, and through that top point on each shape, you should see they all go through the origin. So from the origin, I can draw a line that connects the same point on each of the two shapes. So that way I know I've done it correctly. Okay, enlarge shape A by a scale factor of 2, so times 2 again, from the centre of 3, 3. So this time, this is where I'm doing the, um, doing the enlargement from. So to get to this point here, I was 1 down. If I'm doing a scale factor of 2, I'm going to double that, so it's going to be 2 down. So that's going to be that point there. To get to this point on the original shape, I went 2 down. If I double that, that's 4 down. And this corner here was 2 down, 2 left. Now it's going to be 4 down, 4 left. So that's going to take it over here. And this becomes our new shape. Again, if I draw lines from the centre of enlargement, through both shapes, I can see that the, the point on the original shape lines up with its corresponding point on the enlargement. Okay, this question says, describe the single transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. So what's happened to shape A to make it shape B? So we can see it's an enlargement. It's an enlargement. What's the scale factor? So we need to know the scale factor. And it was it was one up and two across. Now it's three and six. So it's been times by three. So it's a scale factor of three. And we need to also know the center of enlargement. So the center of enlargement. To do that, we can join up the points. So that point is with that one, this one goes with that point, and this point joins up with that one. So we can see maybe the lines are slightly off, but the center appears to be here. So appears to be minus four, minus three. So there are the three bits of information we need to describe an enlargement. So that's three marks there. Okay, same for me again. So we've got another enlargement. We know that because the shape's got bigger or smaller. In this case, it's bigger. It's got a scale factor. It was one up before. It's two up now. So the scale factor is two. It's twice as big. And the center of enlargement 
So that point goes with that point, that one with that one, and that one with that one. So the centre of enlargement is 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1. And then the three bits of information we need, so we're finished.